Hey you guys, welcome back Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Let's see. Karen Connection at the bottom of the deck. Let's just see what comes out for y'all because I'm picking up on something. Okay. And I keep telling y'all over and over again that you guys have already won something. It's like no need to even place your energy where it doesn't belong. And with that, I want to say placing your energy somewhere where it doesn't belong, meaning don't take on somebody else's energy. What I said, don't don't take on the energy of something else or someone else. And you know for sure that that's not your energy. You dig a rescue? Like I said, it's some deception around your abundance. It's some deception. I heard minute details, like something like it has been getting through the cracks or something it seems like something has been hidden for a long time whoever you are you're very patient or patience is needed patience is required somebody last name jackson i feel like the most i have an, a strategy here to cause an ending this is going to be very abrupt somebody is not going to see this ending coming like they don't see it coming now. Some somebody is like having a good time. Somebody name could be JJ or Penny. I've been hearing the name Penny lately. Connie. Connie, that's this con artist. So you got Archangel Raphael Gabriel here in contract with the community. Whoever you are, you're a leader. You're very stand up, is what I heard. Somebody wants you to sit down. They want you to have several seats. How the fuck you want to have a seat in an arena that you are on stage for? What I said. All of these seats that I'm seeing is for your, your, your loved ones, your family, your friends, your fans. Something like that. You got people in the crowd that are watching you. Somebody wants you to get off stage and go and sit in the crowd. I mean, I feel like if that's how you interact with your people, what I said, child, if that's how you interact with your folks, then I feel that's what you will do. But yeah, you're not coming off your throne for anybody. Somebody is trying to cause you a lot of anxiety. You got one, two, three archangels, four or five of them showing up here. We, I mean, this is just pretty cut and dry. You're not going to walk away from your foundation for anyone. It's like, um... I keep telling y'all that energy of somebody that's trying to wait for you to be at a certain area in your life for them to come in and try to demolish something here. It's like somebody wants you to build something up and they want to come in with a bulldozer. That's not what's going to happen. They already been warned, but whomever this is, they have some kind of attachment to you. I heard the word benevolent. Okay, here, child. This person has some kind of attachment to trying to destroy you. This is this is trying. Whoever you are, your strength is unmatched. Yeah. They want to cause financial constraints, hostilities. Somebody wants you to be completely broke. This is a lot of money magic. Our Angel Chamuel is out here down. Whoever you is, bro, you are heavily protected. Like, I want to let you know that. Yeah, could definitely be divine masculine. This man is definitely protected. And I mean, protected in ways that people can't even, like, they can't even see this. Somebody is, they, they just doing too much. I heard they think they the boss. They about to find out who the boss really is. Who really runs shit, my dad? What I said, child? Excuse me. Who really runs shit, my dad? The most I got. That's who really runs shit. These hoes the nigga, boy, this, this is just out of control. It's like no matter what you do, how you do it, when you do it, why you do it, the fact that you're doing anything is a problem. What I said, somebody has an attachment to you and there's a strong ass angel attached to you as well. Like your, your guardian angels are always here ready to take action towards anybody because you're, you're a loving, caring person. I feel like somebody keeps looking at your exterior or maybe the way that you speak or something. I don't know. Somebody is in some kind of illusion. They're busy tired. Like they, they may not even see this storm brewing behind them. Or uh, I'm hearing the word taboo. Somebody may feel like something that you're doing is taboo. Or they may feel um, 
just threaten, just like I said, because you're doing it. It's like anything, it doesn't matter what you do. You are professional as hell at everything you do. What I said, child, you, um, whoever you are, you tend to, I heard perfect anything that you tend to do. Like if you say you're a basketball player and you don't want to play basketball anymore, right? You go, excuse me, you go over to acting. You're the GOAT in that. If you never had no acting experience, it's like you're a natural. Like all you need is whoever you are, all you need is the basis of something. Okay, how do I do this? It's supposed to be done. Okay, cool. Now I'm finna take the minute I'm finna take this and I'm gonna put my own spin on it. What I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it the way I do it. It's your swag, it's your 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 elixir that people don't like, your favor. It, they they don't like that. It's not so much of what you're doing, why you're doing, or how you're doing something. It's the fact that it's you doing something, and you just got somebody that's dead set on destroying you. That's not what's going to happen. You are full of gifts. These people are full of shit. What I said, somebody wishes that they could be you, but it's only one you. And look, between worlds, is the only card in the reverse. Wow. There's literally only one you. God only created one you. I keep saying there's only one you in the alphabet. I keep saying this. I've been saying that a lot recently here. We Loyal heart. Whoever you are, you're very dedicated to whatever you're doing. I feel like um who like it's 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 something it's something here that somebody just does not. They don't want you doing something the way that you're doing it. They want to steal the way you're doing something and try to act like it was original that way or something, but it originated from you, anchor. Oh, well, anybody can do that. Anybody can do that. This is what I'm saying. Like somebody wants you completely out of the way. They want you broke, homeless, whatever. That's not the fuck was going to happen, but that's what they want because they want you so low in life to where they can come in and present something as if they created it or everybody can do something a certain way. That's not what the case is. That's not what it is. Yeah, in the reverse. Let me tell you something. I know everybody and their mama use LeBron James as an example, but I'm going to use him now. Okay? Just because me and his wife got the same birthday. <laughs> you dig a rich cute? Shout out to all my girls. I'm pretty sure that all throughout LeBron's career, he's had motherfuckers that have teamed up together and tried to destroy him. Even in the game, this man has been blocked many times or was attempted to be blocked many times. They done got their best blockers. They done, they done had motherfuckers practice solely blocking just to block LeBron's shot. And all the other greats. But I'm talking about LeBron. So LeBron James is significant. Somebody name could literally be LeBron or James. But I know that man, <laughs> they were attempted to block him. Did LeBron ever walk off the court? No. He kept playing. He kept playing. Not because he had to keep playing, but because he wanted to keep playing. He wasn't just going to give up, throw the ball, walk off the court. That's what people wanted him to do. Just give it up, LeBron. Just give up. You're not the greatest. You're, you're not gonna. You're not gonna leave a legacy, LeBron. And I don't know this man from A to fucking Z, from one to down three. I don't know this man, Shotty. But it's just the concept of a winner. It's the concept of a leader. Of the concept of a person that just does not give up. This is with any area in your life, bro. You got people that's trying to block you. That don't mean you just walk off the court, bro. That don't mean you just get an attitude, walk off the court, because you know all them people in the stands watching. Damn. I wish, say if LeBron did walk off the court. Damn, he should have just stayed on the court. Then everybody going to be talking bullshit. Now he all in the goddamn tabloids. Now they talking shit about him walking off the goddamn court. You think it's cute? So whatever you're doing, whether it's a, a, a appealing to other people or fucking not, bro, that shit only means something to you and the most high God. Because I'm pretty sure they got people that are trained in the NBA, NFL, WNBA, whatever the fuck the case may be, even in the hockey leagues, whatever. They got people that are trained to stay on your ass. But they never win. They never win, bro. 
And even if they are successful at blocking you, you still find, oh, okay, so I know this move you do to try to block me. Okay, cool. Let me come through and, and clean your ass the fuck up. Let me come through and clean it up because I'm watching you just like you've been studying me. Now I'm studying you. Oh, you blocked me like that last time. Oh, you're going to keep do using the same move to block me. Okay. So now I'm about to block your move to block me and I'm still finna shoot and I'm going to score. What I said. In fact, I got other teammates. Let me pass the ball off to them because I see in this area you're trying to block me. So I'm going to pass the ball off to somebody else. But they're going to give it back to me and I'm still going to score. What I said, fam, masculine. Don't let that analogy go over your fucking head. You don't just walk off the field. You don't just walk off the court. You don't just walk off. The most high God is here. God is saying, do not give up. Don't you dare give up. For what? It's stupid. Especially when you're doing something that you love doing, bro. Somebody need this today. Somebody need this motivation today. Because you have a lot that's fighting against you, trying to literally destroy you. I mean, okay. Is that your business that fuck? With your broke ass. You gonna buy it for me? You gonna buy it? I don't think so. Motherfuckers, it is not time to take a nap on these hoes and niggas. Keep your foot on their damn dick. The risk is worth the reward for you. Come to the edge. It's like you're you're just you're just simply here. Somebody may feel like um they having a bit of bad luck or something. I don't feel like it's bad luck. I feel like it's just people in your fucking energetic field that keep constantly, you know, trying to block you because it's it's the championship game. Graduation and shit is here. What I say, y'all? We've been talking about this. Excuse me. Round and round. Message in about a reverse. You're not going to see something coming. This person ain't going to see that, uh, something coming either. But see, their attempts to get you out of the community, that's just not what's going to happen. And if they feel like they're going to take you out and put somebody else in your place, that's what's, that's not what's going to happen. This whole shit will fall down before that happens. God is watching everything. And it's a bunch of illusions around you, too. Something is just not what it seems. What else is here, Daddy? Thank you very much for the messages. I mean, you have to you have to look at things from a different perspective when you have somebody clearly constantly doing the same thing over and over. It's like, well, what are what exactly is it that you're trying to do? Why is it that you want me out of the way? You didn't risk your fan masculine. You have to ask yourself those questions. Like, why is it that people want me out of the way? It's not for you to be someone else. And it damn sure ain't for you to be in between worlds. You have to know what it is you want and strive for that. You don't just give up because things seem hard. That's not what you do. Because anything you do in your life is going to be chaos and conflict. Because you got people that follow you from different lifetimes. <laughs> like different timelines is what I heard here. We, you got people that just simply follow you around because you're the best at something. And in order to be the best, you have to beat the best. And these people cannot beat you. They just want you to quit. Exchanging gifts. And that's the truth of rule here. We, it's the fucking truth. Simple and plain. It's the truth. You don't just go giving up on your shit because somebody doesn't want you around. Oh, well. Oh, fucking well. If, if this place is big enough for you, I can fit, bitch. You, you got me fucked up. And these hoes and niggas are minuscule. They're tiny, minute. They're little. Yo, so little tiny ass can fit, bitch. I know I can. What the fuck is you talking about? This person may feel like you're taking all of their spotlight or something. It doesn't matter how they feel about something. I feel like you're doing what God told you to do. And all you have to do is keep going. The day that you decide to give up, they, I mean, what can God do for you? I heard sunken place. That's where you don't want to go. It's in a sunken place. Hoys reverse and orphan. Somebody wants you to just stop caring about your work. They want you to stop caring. Start doing shit sloppily or whatever the case may be. Or stop doing something completely. Yeah, there's my father. I'm just trying to say goodbye to my masculine. Something is not being done fair to someone. And, and people know what they're doing. I mean, you can't, to be honest with you, fam masculine, if you really want to just talk about what the truth of rule is right here, shout it. You can't, bro, you just really can't stop people 
from having um hatred towards you. Everybody's not gonna like you. Everybody not gonna like you, bro. They're not everybody's not gonna be pleased with what it is you're doing because they can't do it themselves, you know. And to be honest with you, it's kind of flattering that people would go through all of this. And you may get annoyed sometimes. You may be in conflict mentally, like, well, why are you doing all this? It's because you're a winner. The 27th could be significant. The 27th of any month. I'm getting August, June, July, September, and December disruption because you're being recognized for something. I want to keep letting y'all know over and over again, Divine Feminine Masculine. This, this is just not the time for you to be giving up because something is about to slow all the way down. Whatever, whatever these plans and plots that the enemy have towards you, they're patiently waiting. And this could even be something slowing down in your life. I mean, you have good days and you have bad days. You dig you? I'm not going to sit up here and say that there's like absolutely no possibility that things can't go wrong. But you don't just give up, especially when you have love for something. You don't let nobody come in and disrupt your love for whatever it is you're doing, bro. That's not what that's not the attitude of a winner. A winner is going to keep going no matter what. Doesn't matter how much pressure somebody's trying to put on you. You don't have to know people. You could know them. It doesn't matter who doing what. It doesn't matter. It's about you. If these people are doing this shit, they want you to feel like a failure. You're not. I mean, it's simple as hell. It's truly plain this fucking day that you're not a winner. I mean, that you're not a, a, a loser because you got people doing this kind of shit to you. What I said, child. Look at all of the shit that somebody is doing to you. They're going out of their way to do this. So you must know there will be no victory with this. If, if you lose, they lose. If you win, they lose. Either way, they're going to lose. What I said, you can't lose. But the only way you will is if you just give up. You have a firm foundation here, bro. Third eye chakra. And it is okay to take a break. It's okay to retreat. It's okay. And if you don't want to take a break, if you don't want to whatever, I mean, fine. Do whatever it is you want. That's what's it's your life for a reason. Your life, yours. Y O U R. Y O U R. It's your life. Whatever it is that you want to do, that's what you're going to do. And nobody is going to be able to tamper with that. What I said. I mean, if it's something that you have your mind made up to do, Divine Feminine Masculine, you're going to do it. And with the help of the Most High, I feel like you've already spoken to my father about whatever this is, anyways. And it's just simply not nobody's fucking business. It's not nobody's fucking business, whatever it is you want to do in your life or what he told you to do. It ain't got shit to do with no one else. And these kind of people that are around you guys, it's like they love making what you're doing their business or something. But you have to look at something deeper. Why are they doing all of this? It's not so much of what people are doing. They're doing this shit to make you stop. So that means don't. Don't stop. I don't care what the fuck is going on. Every story ain't your story, and everybody can't relate. What I said, child, choose wisely, mental conflict. You have to choose what you let get into your mind. For a lot of you guys, you simply be bypassing whatever this is. This is spiritual warfare all fucking day right here. It's spiritual warfare that you've been going, you've been going through this shit for a long time. And it's coming to an end, but you don't just give up. Like, you, you just don't give up, bro. Somebody named Jessica. Ralph. You don't just give up, bro. I'm not ever going to encourage somebody to just, to just give up on their dreams. Something that you're passionate about. Now, if this was a relationship or something, you just tired a motherfucker for many different reasons. I mean, don't stand your ground for whatever it is. Walk away by all means because there's no prosperity there. But, you know, when it comes to your dreams and your visions and shit like that, especially if you already done had a talk with the most high about it, bro, you must know whoever you is, you're going to be hated. A lot of people don't like you because they simply can't be you. It just is what it is. And it'd be people that may be in higher uh, positions than you, and they uh, use their position to try to make something hard for you, but you still end up triumphing over them. And it's because of your what? Your persistence, your dedication, your loyalty. And it, that's to yourself. I'm trying to tell you, bro, you're a powerful ass person. 
you don't even see how quickly something is truly coming in for you. You're on the right track. Don't be letting nobody do shit to you or make you feel like you're not wanted somewhere. I mean, if they're irritated by your presence, I feel like irritate them by your presence. What I said, keep popping up on hoes and niggas. What the fuck? You, you, you don't just leave because they don't want you there. I mean, if this got something to do with like a competition, you don't just back out of the competition. Like I said, if this is some toxic ass bullshit regarding like a man or a woman or something like that, and you're just truly fed up, yeah, leave that shit alone. But I'm talking about motherfuckers who constantly in competition with you and they're trying to break you down and steal everything from you you are dealing with a bunch of thieves these people cannot create shit on their fucking own they've literally been using you as some kind of guide or a map or something to do anything and they're going to be left in despair but see you 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 got sudden wealth here privileged lady 11 12 december 11 November the 12th could be significant. You don't just give up on your shit. And I don't care, bro. I don't care what's going on. You don't just give up on yourself. Like I said, take a break, whatever. I've seen 2111. Take a break. Because I'm telling you, they're trying to steal from you. There's a thief here, period. I just said this. They steal everything from you. They're trying to get you to walk away from your foundation just so that they can um, have this false person step up or something in your place. But you got double great fortune here, high honor, wealthy man. Like, whoever you are, you're going to be very wealthy from your gifts. And somebody else is just like, well, how are they doing that? How are they receiving that? I mean, because your gift is making room for you. This is a true gift from the most high God. What I said, child. Listen to this again. I'm pretty sure that LeBron was being blocked most of his fucking career. And he will continue to get blocked on the, on the uh, court. But that man is not, you're not going to catch LeBron James walking off the court because somebody keeps trying to block his shot or keep trying to block him. LeBron going to run through you is what I'm saying. Like, you see, motherfuckers, they see somebody don't see something coming. Okay, here, what I said, child. I'm just trying to see what the vibes is. What's the energy on this thief card? I mean, I know it's a thief. <laughs> it's a lot of spell work here, too. A whole lot of spell work. So somebody, somebody, I seen 2233. Somebody could have been watching uh Space Jam because LeBron James is definitely significant. What's here for Thief? Two of Wands here. And then you have the justice. You're like I said, you're you're patiently just waiting, or you just need to wait for justice. Period. You don't get lazy, you don't start being sloppy, you don't do none of that shit. You keep fucking going. The race is given to the one who endures, bro. You have to endure. You got to persevere. Get through whatever this shit is, bro. Just get through it. However that is. I'm hearing, don't let them see you sweat, but see motherfuckers ain't even sweating. How you going to see sweat that ain't there? Somebody really thinks that they're getting under your skin or they think that the shit that they're doing is going to work or something, and it's not. Like, you clearly are contracted to be, to be a winner. That's just what it is. You're being guided to take a leap of faith and say, fuck this. Because there's somebody watching you. You're creating the Ten of Pentacles on your own, Queen of Wands. This is a sexy, confident motherfucker here. And you got some people that are pissed off about it. Who gives a fuck? Six of Cups? Something from your past. And I feel like you did this same thing in your past life, whatever this is you do for work or something. Like, you have much knowledge. That's why you... A lot of y'all be wondering, like, damn, I am pretty good at every damn thing I do. I wonder, you've had many lifetimes of experience doing different things. What I said, child. So I named Josephine or Joe. Joey, Jacob. And don't let this shit get you down, fam. I'm telling you, you're the fucking empress, the emperor. Don't you dare let nobody. Look at this empress. She has been placed on this throne. Look at all them soft fluffy ass pillows and you nigga rich kill. You see that stream of water right here? This empress can do whatever the fuck she wants. She's in her own motherfucking she's in her own world, bro. And this is how the most high God wants you to be comfortable. Somebody's trying to come in and shake up your foundation, your comfortability. They're trying to steal this from you. It's clarifying thief. Somebody's about to get some great news. This empress has many fucking options. 
this empress is in hierophant energy so masculine you could be in your divine femme energy i mean male or female is you know not really gender based but whatever them days of you carrying all these hard burdens is over the shit that you invested in bro you're gonna get that back and it came with a lot of blood sweat and tears bro somebody really wanted to take everything from you and they don't even know why it's just simply jealousy we what's the seven of cups yeah the fool you could definitely have aries in your seventh house your digger skill somebody just simply trying to steal your entire essence they're trying to steal your essence knight of pentacles ace of cups that's not what is going to happen sometimes you just have to walk away from things but whatever this is bro don't walk away from your shit especially when you've been building it sometimes you do have to break something down and start over but you break it down and start it over you don't let nobody come in and break your shit the fuck down so you can start over so that they can get a chance to catch up man fuck these people you got an ace of cups and you're over here working getting your wish fulfillment and it's something that you just don't see coming you don't see that somebody had been watching your ass this person was holding back something and you know this this king of swords i'm not getting good energy from this person yeah somebody about to be crying somebody's really gonna be in heavy regret i mean but it's because they're karmic we they're karmic they're not gonna move anywhere towards you but i mean People, everybody have their own lessons to learn in life, I feel. You dig a room for real. They're wasting time with this shit. Or, or you're wasting time, whoever, whatever, I don't care. This is a waste of time. They can't block you. They cannot block your shot, period. They just can't, bro. Somebody gonna end up in jail behind the shit that they're doing. That's just very sad. They're getting their karma. We are getting bad karma. You're getting good karma. Good dharma. They were wasting their time being a spiritual fucking hater. Fuck hell. All they have contracted was bad karma. Bad vibes. Like I said, you may feel like you're having a bit of bad luck or something like that. I don't feel like you're having bad luck. I feel like somebody is sending some negative energy towards you. I mean, and the best thing to do is what? Transmute it. It's not your energy. Send that shit back. It's not yours. It's not for you. You just got somebody here. They just, they're pissed. I can't make this up. Somebody might be mad because they caught a disease or something and you didn't, or they're mad because they wanted to come give you a disease and they can't. Somebody really wants you sick. Like they, they want you sick, homeless, broke. Like they want pretty much everything to hit you. Everything that's anything bad. They're not going to be able to talk that bullshit. Fuck hell. I'm just trying to tell you the vibes. Somebody mad because they can't talk shit about you. They can't claim that you are whatever the fuck this person is not even hustling working somebody last name is hurst h-u-r-s-t they're mad like they're they're not hustling or doing anything they're just simply mad with you confirmation they they can't talk that shit because you're too fucking busy winning fam masculine this is what i'm trying to tell you a lot of y'all about to move in a big ass house too it's a huge house here Fishing for comments. Yeah, this person really in your comments. And they're in their fucking head. And, and they're mad at you because of the recognition you're getting. That's just what it is. <clears throat> hey, whatever this is, no mind. <clears throat> because it's just negative ass energy. Like I said, they're curious how you're still winning. I mean, through all of the obstacles. Somebody feels like everything you do in your life, you should have obstacles. Everything should be hard for you to obtain. But see, my thing is nobody is giving you anything. I can see if somebody has something for you to give to you and they're trying to test you to make sure you're ready for something. Like, yeah, I'm just not going to give you $50 million. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm not just going to put you at the head of my company without making sure that you're prepared. You dig a rescue? This is not nothing like that. This is somebody who's trying to play God in your life. This is somebody who's trying to block shit off for you that you're doing for yourself. Now, that's crazy to me. Nobody is giving you a fucking thing. I'm telling you, these are carnies. Whoever the hell these people is, I don't know. We, I don't know who they may be to you, but they're karmic. It says karmic friends. But I want to put the spotlight on can't fully trust them. Tension, secret competition here. 
Yeah. Meanwhile, you're unfucking phase fuck. They're crying. Now they're sad, hurt, and upset. I mean, but that's how they felt in the beginning. This was always going to be their energy. This is not your energy just sitting around pouting and, and not knowing where the fuck you're going and shit. Man, you have to always stop and ask yourself, why the fuck am I feeling like this or something like that? Because somebody has literally been feeling like you, you've been feeling some kind of negative energy around you or around your home or something, or maybe your children. I don't know. That's not your energy. That's somebody sending it to you. Okay, fam masculine. I wish people would just wake up, bro. If people are ignoring the fact that it's time out for that stupid shit. Motherfucker, either you healing or you're not. Take that low vibrational shit to other motherfuckers that's low vibrational. And then they'll soon find out that even those people have awakenings that they have to go through. What I said, people don't want to just sit around gossiping and, and talking about people all day long or trying to plot on them to ruin their life. This person not ruined their own reputation. And somebody could even try to ruin your reputation in the past, but you're still unfazed by this. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, you tried that shit, but it didn't even work. Or somebody may be working on this now to, like, try to ruin your reputation. It's not going to work. Whatever their, whatever their plan is, it's not going to work. Because they're, they're, the goal, the goal, Divine Family Masculine, the goal is for you to lose confidence in your skills. What I said, child. Because you're doing something independently. Everybody relies on you. You got a lot of people that rely on you, bro, and your abilities. And you're helping many people. I feel like whatever you're doing, bro, do it however you need to do. However you need to get through these attacks. And this person is planning shit for you to take a loss. And they don't have anybody to help them do this. What I said, child, this fell on the floor. These fell on the floor. They're pl they got blank ass plans. And nobody is going to help them with this. They're completely wasting their time. And this person has started putting all of their time and effort into something because they're fucking unfulfilled here. Unrealistic. This person may be trying to steal your voice or something. Trying to talk like you is unrealistic. The shit that this person is trying to do is literally unrealistic. Yeah. They're crap. Look, unethical. I'm telling you. There's something wonderful just waiting to be expressed with your hands. Consider careers doing handmade, I mean homemade, sorry, items or some kind of craft project. Think of ways to generate money that no other has done before or try something new. I feel like you do things that other people may do, but it's the way that you do something. What I said, child, you're creating something. You see the measuring tape, the buttons, the thread, that shit right there ain't shit until you put some shit together. A lot of y'all can look at this card, look at the materials in this card. Okay, I got that to use. You could literally in your head think of something that you can craft up real quick just using these things in this card. That's just how your how far your imagination goes out. Somebody doesn't want you to believe in yourself, bro. Because when you when you stop believing in you, everything around you dies. And that's so fucked up. That's somebody playing. It's because in order to be the best, you got to beat the best. And this person wants to be the best. And they're just the fuck not. They're not going to be able to stop you at all. Celebrate spirituality. You could definitely do tarot or something like that. Or you could just enjoy tarot. We don't have to be a tarot reader. But, you know, I'm pretty sure most people that watch me do tarot. But it's something that you're doing and you're in your fucking lane doing it. And um, it's just like you're, you're not in fear of anybody. Whoever you are, you're like a whistleblower. You don't give a fuck. You're going to keep going. A lot of y'all, your your destiny is to be an artist or something. Could be graphic design, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, graphic web design. You could be a model or something like that, a fashion designer. I don't know, but whoever this person is, you know this this person right here may need to stop, you know, um, because they're burning up their money. This this person right here is about to go broke. Like they, this person here is literally about to go broke. They got more going out than coming in. You're about to go to the next level and you ain't got to sell nobody no fucking dream. You do something so authentically and this person is pissed off. They don't have the authenticity to even pull off whatever this is. They'll be faking their way through the whole time. But it's an era that we're in right now to where all of God's children are stepping up into their purpose, period. We all doing different shit, but we're all in our callings. So don't let nobody come in and slow you down, bro. Like I said, LeBron is not finna just walk off the court in the middle of a game. 
Hell, even in practice, that man ain't just gonna walk off the fucking court because he can't find a way to get his shot through because this person keeps blocking. No, motherfuckers want to put points on that board. You're gonna have to just find a way to fuck through what I said. You're just gonna have to find a way through, baby. And nine times out of ten, your spiritual team gonna come in and assist you. Anything else here, Daddy? Thank you so very much for this message. I haven't had a deep message like this in a minute. Because whoever you are, bro, somebody is literally playing on your top. Like, they're literally I can't, bro. They're playing games. It's because you're fucking gifted. Period. They cannot slow you down. Slow down is in the reverse. And don't you slow down. <clears throat> don't you fucking dare walk away. Quit. Give up. Don't you fucking dare. I don't care what nobody's doing. You've been working too hard on something. It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense for you to walk away and give up. For what? These hoes and niggas try to step up to still get knocked the fuck back. Because they're not doing shit. These people want to lead people the wrong way. It seems like somebody just wants praise or something. They're doing everything they're doing for the wrong reasons. And now they feel like somebody has been watching you for so long. They want to put so much pressure on you to walk away and quit. Because they feel like they have literally got being you down packed or something. They feel like they studied you long enough. Like, okay, well, I can get rid of that person now. Now I can come in and get rid of them because I've, I've perfected being them. No, the fuck they haven't. There's literally only one you. One you in the alphabet. You dig a rush And I'm going to leave it right here, Divine Feminine Masculine. Remember that God loves you and so do I. See you later, guys.